Canelo Alvarez is not the pound for pound one fighter. <coughs> I still, of course, have him on my pound for pound list, but he's not number one. And some of you may have him number one, which that you have your right to that. I have Inouye, Terrence Crawford, Usyk, then Canelo, and then it's my fifth spot between Teofimo and Bam Rodriguez. But Canelo Alvarez, he's an all-time great fighter, but as we know, he's, you, you can still be an all-time great and duck someone. Like, there's been past fighters that did the same thing. And at this moment, he's doing the same thing. I'm not sure on um, what specific reasons. He might not be wanting to fight David Benavidez, but that's his own personal reasons. But just from his whole resume, if you look just basically at his resume, basically five, maybe 10 years ago, around the time, I think seven years ago is when around the time he had fought Floyd or around 10 years ago, I couldn't remember. But he has such, he has Hall of Famers on his resume. And even right now, he, he cleaned out when he went for the undisputed run at 168, he cleaned out his division. And then he went up, got beat by Bibble. That's why you can still be on the pound for pound list even if you have losses. They, they did that back then, but now we really don't do that. But just look at his resume. I have these other fighters over him for, well, because I think they've accomplished greater things maybe a little bit faster than him. But he's still on my pound for pound list. He's still one of the greatest fighters in this generation. Possibly the greatest in other people's opinions. Stop. But let me know what you guys think. And I'm out. Ooh.